First of all, thank you. So it's always a pleasure to reconnect with my alma mater. Uh, in terms of journey, it has been a great journey. I would say IFM provided a very good uh, platform for all of us. Uh, frankly, for me, uh, I had never visited a village before joining IFM. So it was, uh, and then making a career in microfinance, wherein probably every week or month we keep visiting villages. So I, inter- it was a great learning experience from IFM and. Uh, from there, I started my career, as you rightly said, uh, from uh, SKS Microfinance, so now known as Bharat Financial Inclusion Limited. Uh, it was a very uh, fulfilling experience with uh, SKS because uh, one thing which I learned in SKS is the nuances of microfinance. See, uh, we learn the textbooks in colleges and B schools about microfinance, but the actual reality, what is there in microfinance, we came to know when we all, I think 17 of us from my batch joined SKS during that year. So uh, SKS had a very unique uh, training module wherein uh, they exposed us to uh, various role plays kind of, uh, wherein uh, right from, I have done one week of uh, job as a field, fronted field sales guy, field executive then one week as a cashier, branch manager and so on and so forth. Uh, That experience I would say has been very, very unique because even today it helped me while even designing strategies or products because I know the pain points at various levels and then you can basically try and address your product or strategy around that. So that was a very fulfilling experience. From there on, some of the key milestones has been uh, when I joined Access Bank, it, it's kind of the longest stint in my career. I uh, spent almost nine years, but uh, joining a bank wherein uh, uh, basically uh, microfinance is something which is done only for priority sector lending. So from there, we tried to bring that as a mainstream business. So uh, one of the major milestones just after AP crisis was that we were slightly uh, unsure of how to basically build the business now because there was we used to be in bulk lending to microfinance institutions and uh, suddenly AP crisis happened wherein more, some larger names uh, went bust and they went for restructuring and so on. So it was a great learning experience even during that crisis time. But from there on, what we tried to do was we tried to start, um, build a retail book for microfinance. So I would say one of the major milestones in my career was convincing a large bank's board or senior management to get into a unsecured 20,000 rupees lending business. Uh, and that too, it's a very manpower intensive business. So that was one of the major milestones, uh, followed by again coming to Mahindra Finance. Mahindra is a typical vehicle finance retail DNA kind of a company and here my op- I, I got an opportunity to set up uh, a corporate lending business basically lending to NBFCs and small finance banks so that's another milestone uh, in the hindsight again uh, if I see uh, SK my journey in SKS apart from the training bit uh, the we got an opportunity as young freshers coming out of college to basically build a business in new geographies. So like uh, I got an opportunity to set up uh, microfinance operations of SKS in Jabalpur. Uh, That too with uh, two, uh, basically we were given two colleagues who were non-Hindi speaking and I had to set up a a microfinance operation in the Hindi belt. So all these uh, challenges, learnings uh, are kind of milestones in my career, I would say. I kind of maintained that connect because I would have visited the campus almost uh, eight to ten times in the last uh, decade or so. So uh, kind of every year I have visited. So one advice which I always give to most of the batches is that always aspire for growth and new learnings and that would basically take you to uh, great heights in your career. So that's something which I always advise. Apart from that, uh, see, uh, it's a sectoral B school and there are opportunities across multiple uh, areas, segments, uh, 
like forestry environment financial services and so on and so forth uh, and it becomes uh, as a once you join the college you go through the i, I don't know if there are certain specializations also now which were not there earlier during our time so uh, you need to see which field is of interest to you and try to build your career around that particular field and probably that would not happen in the initial phase uh, maybe after 6 uh, months or 8 months you should zero down on an on an area uh, or segment and then try and basically choose your organizational training opportunities the ot's which you get in similar segments and try to give your best out of it uh, because that's uh, for most of you uh, as fresher some of you may have work experience but then most of you as fresher it would be kind of your first stint in a formal work environment and that learning which you get uh, during the ot is is of immense help during your career and your career growth so these would be my advice and uh, so basically to sum it up uh, there's a famous quote of abraham lincoln that whatever you do try to be a best one good one so uh, i would suggest that coming to covid times the second part obviously see these are very very tough times unprecedented times uh, and uh, this brings probably i i don't want to scare you guys but then uh, the market dynamics have changed and uh, uh, every organization be it in the financial services sector or other sectors i are trying to see how best we can basically uh, come out of this kind of a crisis situation nobody had thought about it i remember in 2015 we used to plan for vision 2020 and yes. the vision 2020 which has come out is completely different from what we used to plan so uh, i would say uh, uh, try and uh, have your basics very strong i would urge your placement committees to be more uh, forthcoming try and interact probably uh, lay down a blueprint wherein uh, Uh, try and tap new sector segments which probably are doing well even during covid times it's not that all of uh, the sectors have suffered there are sectors who have actually done well so probably you need to redefine your entire strategy around that and then work on it and uh, probably this is short lived so yeah. by end of next year uh, things would be all right by then uh, not end of next year but end of this financial year things would yeah. be all right so uh, and that would be probably the time when the fresh batch would be coming out so uh, try and uh, basically uh, do a entire uh, re-strategize your entire placement process how you basically uh, tap new companies and that would be helpful for you all Uh, so we were five or six of us we used to be back benchers of our batch and uh, that gang is still there we keep meeting on and off and we keep interacting all of them are doing really well in their life so uh, uh, that connect basically the friendship which got created during our some days it's kind of friends for life for all. so these are pleasant memories the badminton matches which we used to play Uh, even late nights i don't know if you are allowed now but uh, yes, in our case we used to uh, play at 2 o'clock in the night so that was a very uh, then the various classes or the interactions in libraries the group assignments so uh, recently i was taking one um, personality test wherein there were open ended questions and uh, one of the open ended question was that what was the best days of your life can you describe that and and, and i wrote about ifm so, uh, so can't zero down on one such memory but uh, there has been numerous such memories and uh, that's where it keeps pushing all of us and we try to uh, do a get together with our batch mates even with uh, some seniors as well we keep meeting uh, some of them are in this financial services sector as well so we keep interacting chilling out mm-hmm. in terms of faculties uh, all of them played equal role that way uh, i don't want to uh, basically uh, name one particular fa- faculty but yes since uh, come i was in financial 
I'm in financial services sector. So there was a lot of influence from uh, uh, BP Petia sir, who used to teach us microfinance, or Amitabh Pandey sir, who used to teach us livelihoods. So interactions with them was again very very enriching. P K Biswas sir was our placement coordinator, so interactions with him or badminton matches with him are some of the favorite memories I would say. So uh, see, it's uh, not a particular subject per se, but uh, being in a B school like IFM, which not only teaches you the nuances of business, but also the social side of it, and that probably uh, was kind of the biggest takeaway for me. Because even today, when we design products or strategy, uh, we try to see the social part of it, and that was one of the biggest contribution I would say IFM has made in my shaping my career. Uh, in terms of subjects, uh, see, uh, you would uh, keep learning. Marketing would uh, is something which you would keep using in your career at various point in times. Or subjects, if suppose, like say for me, microfinance, I have been throughout in microfinance mostly. So uh, what we learned in classroom obviously was of great help. But once you come out of IFM, basically applying those learnings uh, is uh, and that too in a so when you basically go through the textbooks, uh, the world is slightly different. But when you actually go to the field, uh, applying those learnings is a different ball game altogether. So. Uh, uh, one major subject which I still feel uh, has played a major role was uh, extension, forestry extension subject, which was there, wherein uh, how to interact with people uh, in villages and semi urban areas, uh, how to impart uh, the various uh, uh, things which you want to convey to them. So, that has played a crucial role. So, all these put together, it's a package kind of a thing. Uh, the OTs, the field trips, the subjects all have helped in shaping the career that way.